Hey guys, it's me, Dominique. Um, I'm just leaving the doctor's office. I have rain with me, so if you hear her in the background, yeah, I had to get blood work done. Uh, done. If any of you follow me on Twitter, um, if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I went to the doctor on Monday. I went for my physical, and I had to get a referral for the gyno as well as to my yearly pap. So, um, yeah, on Monday I went to the doctor. I was supposed to get blood work done on Monday, but I couldn't because I ate before I came to the appointment. And I think, um, when they want to test for the cholesterol or something, you can't eat. So, I had to reschedule and come back today for my blood work. I didn't eat anything since, um, 8, 9 o'clock last night. And I haven't eaten anything yet and I'm starving. I'm so ready to get home and eat me a bagel, a bagel or something. So, um, yeah, I had my physical. They, you know, check height, weight, stuff like that. Of course, I'm a little overweight. Yeah, well, like a lot, but for my height. But even for my height, I don't want to be the weight I'm supposed to be at for my weight. That's not my goal. But yeah, that's for a weight loss journey video I'm gonna do. Which brings me to say, um, I know I've been saying I was gonna do this weight loss video. The reason, there are two reasons why I haven't done this weight loss video yet. Number one reason is because I haven't been going full-fledged into the one I need to be doing. I've been eating differently. Of course, I work out. I just started going back to the gym, which I was going to wait until I started going back to the gym for that. And, you know, I changed with some of my eating habits. Um, I purchased a meal plan from a fellow YouTuber, Fashion, on here. I will leave a link to her channel um, so you can check her out. And I think she probably has the link to her site. You know, she does... Um, she has a lot of different things, so you can check her out. And I don't know if she's still selling meal plans, but I purchased a meal plan from her so I could, you know, change some things up. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go to the doctor first before I actually made my weight loss, my re weight loss journey reloaded video. Because, um, as some of you may know, if you watch my wedding story video or my labor d delivery video, which I was, um, leave both of the videos somewhere in this video um i had thyroid issues as well as high blood pressure issues when i was pregnant and i just wanted to get those checked out before i you know before i introduced you guys to my journey not before i started my journey because i started my journey but i haven't been full fledged into it but before before i um talked about it with you guys i wanted to get those things checked seriously Okay, I'm, I'm looking at you, but you know I can't look at you while I'm driving, right? Poopy, I love you. <laughs> but yeah, so I just got the blood work done. Um, and within a week, I don't know what's going on with that. So I'll be able to finally, you know, upload my video and go harder into my journey. Because as some people may know, thyroid does affect you either gaining or losing weight. So, you know, just in case I have to be on any medication, and think if I even have thyroid. Praying I don't, praying I just need to push myself a little harder. And I don't have no medical issues regarding my weight or weight loss or whatever, whatever. So, yeah, that's about it for me. Now, um, I wanted to also let you guys know, this is not really an update video, this is like a random talk video more or less. Um, I wanted to let you guys know what was going on with me and my family. Oh yeah, and I wanted to also talk about, you guys noticing I'm doing more vlog videos. There's a reason behind that. Um, I've done vlogs with my, vlog videos with myself, but um, I started doing vlog videos with my family because um, I watch a couple of people on here who do like, you know, everyday type vlogs. Like I watch, um, it's Julie's Life, and I watch Socialite um, Sandy, Socialite TV, I think. Yeah, Socialite TV. And you know they do like daily vlogs and stuff. Now, granted, I'm not going to do daily vlogs because I have an 8 month through year old. Uh, 8 month, that's a handful. I have a 7 year old and I have a husband and I have all this other stuff. Like, I'm not going to really want y'all to see everything that goes on in my life. So, I'm not going to do um daily vlogs. 
but I will do vlogs more or less when I go out with my friends or when I go out with um, my family or when I go to like hopefully some family events and some of my family don't mind but some of my me outside of my you know children and my husband don't mind recording I'll do that reason being because I like I told my son and like um you know I, I kind of got the idea from one sex is seen to one plus is Judy life I want my children to be able to you know look back on different videos hopefully YouTube is still around when they get older and look back and say you know this is what we did when you know because I have a video from when my son was five and we went to Nickelodeon Hotel and you know the recent video the field day video um you know if my daughter wants to know how my you know pregnancy with her was that they want to know about our wedding stories you know stuff like that so I want them to be able to look back on my videos and know and you know you know see the, the different memories granted I do a lot of you know editing and stuff but being that you know they can just look at what well, my son here remember he'll remember some of the stuff because he's old enough to remember and then like watching the videos are probably triggered a little bit more and then with my daughter she'll see stuff that she probably won't remember and be like oh that's what I did you know stuff like that so that's why I do a little bit more vlogs with my um, family that's something new I said you know I said I want to do some new things on my channel channel this is one of the new things I'm still gonna do my review videos my hauls um my what's on my mind videos i'm gonna get back to my book reviews of course i'm gonna get back to my weight loss journey but i just wanted to add that to my channel you know for my for my kids as well as like family members who don't get to come around and see what's going on with us or who don't live you know near us or whatever um so they can see but yeah that's just a little sidebar now um as some of you guys may know a couple of, like a couple of months back i think a month or so back i took rain to the doctor to get her checkup we're kind of behind on her checkup so she gets a checkup at nine months which is at the end of the month she gets her i think it's supposed to be her eight month shot she gets it at nine months because we didn't go in until seven um when she went in for her checkup the doctor heard a heart murmur or whatnot so she referred us to the cardiologist and when we went to the cardiologist, we went to the cardiologist yesterday. Now, my husband and my friends and family might get mad at me for even saying this on video. But, like I said, I'm doing this, you know, so my children have something to look back on. Um, he might get mad at me for doing this video because he probably thinks, you know, I'm stressing about it way too much. Seriously? Child, them shorts, where you going? <laughs> yeah, it's a, a girl's class trick with some like, little itty bitty shorts. Okay, so, um, when I took her to the cardiologist yesterday, the cardiologist basically said, you know, they did the EKG, they did, um, uh, ultrasound on her chest. Cardiologist basically said that she has a small, tiny, small hole in her heart, and she has a blood vessel that's leaking just a little bit. Now, when I heard this stuff, my heart dropped, but he said, um, you know, it's nothing to be of well alarmed about to the point you know if she's gonna need surgery or anything they said that you know they're really small but her heart is still pumping she's gaining weight she's active she's you know on time developmentally um so you know everything is fine with her so they just want to monitor her so i have to go back in a couple of months again sort of i guess you know to go so they can do the x-rays and stuff because they just want to monitor her and make sure everything is on track cause she's sleeping Yes, that's why she was talking to me, telling me, Mommy, I'm sleepy. They just want to make sure everything is developing. And they want her to, I guess, grow into it. I guess he wants her, to, he wants to see if it'll close as she gets older. Um, But, you know, as a mom, when you're told that something is wrong with your child, even though you're told that everything's going to be okay, the fact that something is wrong with your child bothers you regardless. So, you know, that's what's like, that's, it's like, for the last couple of days, I've been bothered by it. And then, you know, the doctor told me on Monday, I'm retaining a lot of water, so it's making me sluggish and stuff. So I've just been tired. I just ain't been really wanting to do nothing. Just been doing the bare minimum. But um, everything, I guess, well, as far as my health, everything gets straight, straightened out eventually. But it's just like, I'm just, I'm not even caring about what's going on with me right now. I'm just like, 
even though like um my husband i think he has a split and his heartbeat skips and my neighbor her daughter which is like almost around the same age well not the same age but she's younger she's like my brother's age she just had a baby um she just had a baby around the time i had rain like a week after i had rain and she had basically the same issues rain had has and um you know she's fine my neighbor was talking to me she was like i know like everybody's telling you you know it's gonna be okay not to stress but when it's your child you just it's like you just don't you have no choice but to stress like you can't help it and which is true like i know everybody keeps saying everything's gonna be okay everything's gonna be fine um she's gonna be okay don't stress it don't let the devil get into your head and honestly i'm trying not to i am praying i'm you know i i'm believing in god because that's one thing about me i i believe strongly in god i believe strongly in the holy spirit i believe god is above everything and i'm just i'm just trying to hold on to my faith because i know even though the doctor said you know it's not a big deal so you know i shouldn't even be stressing but it's hard because, like I keep saying, like, when somebody's, the fact that, you know, everybody's saying it's okay, but the fact that she's still my child, like, something, basically, you told me something's wrong with my child, but everything's gonna be okay. So, all it is in my mind is something wrong with my baby. So, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm just praying day by day, not trying to let her stress me out, as long as she's okay. But it's like, I'm, I'm looking at her, and, and then I'm trying not, everybody's being like, you know, don't baby her, don't make you, don't make what you've been told treat, like, you know, make you treat her any differently. But it's hard, like I keep saying, like, it's hard. But hopefully, you know, as I pray more and more, I'll be able to deal with it. So I'm almost back to the house. Like I said, I'm starving. Hopefully Rain stays asleep so I can make me something, you know, to eat. And I'm probably gonna make a bagel and some egg whites. That's not, I probably just have the bagel. But she probably won't allow me to eat. So, I hate when people are just, how you just stay in your car park? Yeah. So yeah, that's about it. That's all I wanted to come in and say really quick. I don't know when I'm gonna upload this video cause right now I'm trying to clean up. When I'm not doing well, everything is like out of standstill in our home. Like everything is, basically I already know I'm the reason everything functions. And when I'm not doing well, the house is looking crazy. Um, the budget is looking crazy. I'm trying to stay on top of appointments and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm out.